Up next, a grassroots protest is encouraging gays and lesbians not to go to work today. This morning, we'll talk with a local organizer to find out what they'll be doing instead. Well, today's being called a day without a gay, part of a national grassroots protest designed to show the size and impact of the gay and lesbian community. Organizers are urging people to call in gay, skipping work, to instead volunteer at human rights organizations. Juan Serta is an advocacy coordinator who joins us live in the newsroom this morning to talk a little bit more about this effort. Juan, good morning to you. Good morning. So will you be taking the day off of work today? Yes, I actually have the day off today. I will be participating with various other community organizers here in Bakersfield, helping two local nonprofits, the Bakersfield AIDS Project and the Alliance Against Family Violence. So why choose this as a way of protest? Uh, this is something that's been spearheaded by the, nationally by the Join the Impact uh, group, and we are participating uh, with them, but we want to take a different approach to this uh, by doing something positive in the community versus just protesting or holding a rally. Uh, we really want to make something positive come out of this. So today we're going to be helping two local organizations by providing them non-perishable items, food items, as well as hygiene products that can be used by their clients who are on a fixed income. Do you worry at all, though, that in this tough economy that people could get fired for, for calling in gay today? Uh, that is a possibility, but we are urging our supporters and, and people, this is a very tough economic times. Uh, if you are able to do so, it would be great. Uh, but again, your priority should be your job. But we are, I have the opportunity to take the day off today. I took vacation to be, to be able to participate in this. So if you're able to do so, then yes. So how does that work out? I mean, is it possible? Because you, you really have to say either you're sick or you're taking vacation, but your employer said it's okay to take vacation? Yes, that's correct. All right, so what about backlash? Do you worry there's going to be any public backlash? There are some people, we did a, a feedback poll last night and got some emails from people who said, you know, they thought it was kind of silly because they said, well, what if I called in uh, saying that I was Latino or called in saying I was black? Could I take a day off of that? What do you, what do you say to those people? It's the same reaction that happened with regards to a day without an immigrant. Myself being a Hispanic descent, these are some of the things, same things that came out in regards to the immigration issue came about. So uh, pretty much the same kind of reaction is expected. And Juan, is, is it possible that someone might use today as the opportunity to come out uh, to their coworkers today? Perhaps some coworkers would be surprised by this? Definitely. This is uh, definitely a, an opportunity to let them know that this, with passage of Prop 8, we, are, we were affected by this. Our, our, our coworkers, our friends, our family members were affected by this. All right. And uh, Juan, is there anything else that's going to be going on today? I know that we're going to be uh, talking to some of you later on today, but uh, is there going to be any rallies or anything else that's going to be associated with this? None, none here in Bakersfield, but uh, nationally over in San Francisco, L.A., there will be various rallies. But today we're just going to be uh, helping out in the community. All right. Juan Serta, a local organizer and activist uh, for A Day Without a Gay. Thanks for coming in with us this morning and getting us updated on that. Thank you. Back here at home, instead of working, several folks are donating their time to those in need today. It's part of a day without a gay. The purpose of today's event is to boycott the passage of Proposition 8. Right here in Kern County, many gathered on Gray Street at the Bakersfield AIDS Project to collect hygiene and non-perishable food items for that charity. Here you can see others doing some yard work for those in need here in our community as well. Supporters say the day is a way to get their message out and give back to the community. Local supporters are also collecting items for the Alliance Against Family Violence today. Nationwide, hundreds of people are expected to take this day off. Uh, well, I won't be there on Wednesday. She said, why? And I said, well, I'm going to be out sick. <laughs> and she said, uh, uh, you, you already know you're going to be sick. I said, watch, I'm, I'm going to be calling in gay. Calling in gay, a day-long strike in which people were encouraged to call in gay to work to express support for same-sex marriage in California on this Wednesday, December 10th. 2008. Some of your co-workers might have called in sick today, but it probably had nothing to do with catching a cold. As part of a nationwide boycott, same-sex marriage supporters called in gay today. The idea is for gays and lesbians to skip work and show other Americans how much society relies on the homosexual community. 17's Alex Valle in our studio tonight with that story. Alex? Jim, Day Without a Gay is part of a national grassroots movement to protest last month's gay marriage ban in California. Thousands of gays and lesbians rallied across the country. Here at home, some gay marriage supporters called in gay and used the time for community service. Paul Georgie works at a prison, and he called in gay today. I said, uh, well, I won't be there on Wednesday. And she said, why? And I said, well, I'm going to be out sick. <laughs> and she said, uh... Uh, 
You, you already know you're going to be sick. And I said, watch out. I'll be calling in gays. Georgie spent the day cleaning up outside the Bakersfield AIDS project. But because he says he doesn't fall into many of the gay stereotypes, Georgie says he hopes skipping work will help raise awareness. I think that by doing things like this, we're going to get more people to realize that maybe they do know people, but since we don't fit those stereotypes, they didn't even know that they knew us. And then it's going to be a little bit different when they uh, are making some of those decisions. About 25 gay marriage backers collected food and hygiene products for local charities in Bakersfield. Organizers say calling in gay is another way to protest against last month's vote that banned gay marriage. I think a lot of folks who, who voted yes on Prop 8 said they didn't, not, they didn't think they knew anybody who was gay. And, of course, I think that's probably not necessarily true, but it's important, I think, for us to be more visible and, and to say, you know, we are an, uh, an empowered community and, and we care about our hometown, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of us. We also called some of Kern's major employers, such as the county and State Farm Insurance, to see how many people called in gay. None of the places we called said they had an unusual amount of people calling in sick or gay today. Robin. And a day-long strike was held today that encouraged people to call in gay to work to express support for same-sex marriage. Day Without a Gay is part of a national grassroots movement to protest last month's gay marriage ban in California. Thousands of gays and lesbians rallied across the country. Here at home, some same-sex marriage supporters called in gay and used the time for community service. A rally is underway tonight in San Francisco in support of same-sex marriage. And earlier today, hundreds of people were expected to take part in a day-long strike dubbed a day without a gay. Same-sex marriage supporters were encouraged to call in work gay today. Now here at home, employers say they didn't see a dramatic increase in the number of people staying home from work today in support of Gay Day. 17's Alex Valle is in our news center tonight with that part of the story. Alex? Jim, Day Without a Gay is part of a national grass rights movement to protest last month's gay marriage ban in California. Thousands of gays and lesbians rallied across the country today. But here in Bakersfield, organizers say they wanted to make Gay Day less about politics and more about community. For us in Bakersfield, today is about giving back to our hometown. Uh, we live here. We love it here. Um, it's important for us to be involved in our community and to give back and be good neighbors. Paul Georgie works at a prison, and he called in gay today. Georgie spent the day volunteering outside the Bakersfield AIDS Project. But because he says he doesn't fall into many of the gay stereotypes, Georgie says he hopes skipping work will help raise awareness. He also says calling in gay is another way to protest against last month's vote that banned gay marriage. Like any other group, you take us out of the equation, and there's a problem. We do have, you know, we are... A force in this country, you know, we spend our money here, we love our community, and, um, you know, that's important. About 25 gay marriage backers collected food and hygiene products for the Bakersfield AIDS Project and the Alliance Against Family Violence. We also called some of Kern's major employers, such as the county and State Farm Insurance, to see how many people called in gay. None of the places we called said they had an unusual amount of people calling sick or gay today.